get this money from money What is up, Innovation Family? How's everybody doing today? It's uh, me, Brandon, your friend, your neighbor, your host, back with another video from Innovation Property Atlanta. Uh, before we jump to today's reaction video, guys, remember to always do me a favor and click that like button below. Uh, leave me some questions, some feedback in the comment section. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification button and you'll be tuned into the next video and then we will go from there so today's reaction video guys a little bit more corvette talk we're going to talk about the Z corvette c8 z06 is it really the new next um low-key cheaper performance exotic car um so we have a video from my guys their name i think it's a uh, actual car channel their name is drag times i'm going to be talking about the z06 being a is it a lambo killer is it in the same class as a lambo or ferrari Let's tap in, guys, to find out what they are talking about. For years, we've tested the Corvette against numerous exotic cars, but the event <coughs> always fell short, even after piling more and more horsepower with the 755 horsepower ZR1. It still can came up with the exotic cars making less power. In 2019, Chevy moved the engine from the front to the rear, and that changed everything. They made their latest Corvette, the Z06, sound better than a Ferrari. Is the Z06 an exotic car or even a supercar if it can beat one? Let's find out which is faster. The last of Lamborghini V10 powered exotic cars, the 640 horsepower Huracan Technica, or the latest from Chevrolet, the 670 horsepower Corvette Z06. Hey everybody, Brooks and Jack Times. We are out at Bradenton Motorsports Park with the Technica versus Z06, Z07 package, got it. Just trip 500 miles, you had to take off the trailer, then run around the block about for an hour. Yeah, a little get 500 hour. miles, that's my kind of running, yeah. right? Breaking in at the track. I've been running like 10 fives all day. I think it's gonna be pretty close because I think the last time we had a Z06 out here was running like 10 four to 10 six. I don't, I don't think it was a Z07, they are a little bit. Little. Uh, and he's, no. in the, he's in the Corvette attire. He's oh, got yeah. the Z06, the jean shorts, and the New Balance shoes. <laughs> Let's get these things to run, the seat. Yeah. This is gonna be super competitive, first time Technica rear wheel drive versus new Z06 with the Z07 package. Let's go. All right, check out the rapid blue Z06 with the Z07 package. We got carbon fiber wheels. We got the nice white interior, carbon roof, carbon rear wing. This thing's awesome. Furcon Technica, blue Uranus. I don't have the carbon fiber wheels. They didn't offer that on a Lamborghini, which is kind of crazy. You would think we get some carbon wheels on a Lamborghini, right? Anyways, both crazy, crazy specs, and we're about to get these things out and on the track racing. All right, here we go. So we got. I'm gonna put my money on Lambo. Lambo sounds so good from the golf standpoint. Not even hey, when it comes to actual. Uh, when it comes to actual. Um, I want to say performance, so overall power. I think that's going to next to the, uh, the Lambo. What you get for $160,000 for a uh, Corvette? That's a good thing that power performance. So, hands down, thanks to the bug has to the Corvette. I'm going to go with the Lambo as far as overall speed. I think it's not an hour too. Um, All right, here we go. Technica versus new Corvette yeah, Z06. Now, the Z06. This is a coupe with the Z51 package, carbon fiber wheels and everything. It's supposed to be a pretty good race. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's put it in sport, manual, ESC off, so we can do a little dry hop burnout. Here we go. Nice. Now we're going down into Corsa mode. And an ESC off so we can launch the car. Here we go. He red lighted. I'm walking a one six one, but he red lighted.
Yeah, that thing got out of the head. I just by the way. The Z06 is known for launching really well, but for some reason, his car today, it's hooking but slipping and we can't quite figure it out. So you, you pulled up a little too far past the staging, that's why you red lighted, right? So when the bolt bulbs light up, you went a little far, which is fine, but then you gotta keep in mind, don't go on the last yellow. So just barely trickle that second stage bulb and then you're good to go. All right, man, let's do it. What happens? The money's still gonna be with the uh, end of it. Technical. There you go. That's a record 1045 in the quarter mile just now for the Huracan Technica. Wow, this car is awesome. You don't need all wheel drive. 10.4, lighter than the uh, Evo as well. All right, you made like, I don't know, 20 test passes <laughs> and the car's running like low livings all day. Yeah. We waited till the last run of the day and then all of a sudden he pulls off a 10.5 run against my 10.5 run and it was like neck and neck. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was awesome. I think he also did a 10.6. Okay. And my best pass of the today was a 1045 at 131. And I think that's the quickest pass for a rear wheel drive Huracan ever. Wow. So I'm super happy with that. And uh, for you, I mean, it's great. But I mean, you have the arrow on this, so it's not going to be as fast as the non-aero cars. Yeah. But you do have the carbon brakes and the carbon wheels. And I don't think we've been out with the drag strip with one of those yet. So, uh, man, that was a lot of fun. We did like, I don't know, five or six passes. And at the end, I think we were neck and neck on the last two passes. Yeah. 10.5, 10.6s. 
man, that was a that was a lot of fun. A couple red lights, but you know, it's okay. a couple red lights. Yeah, yeah. We tried to keep the launches well, together, well, I mean, but you know, it is what it is. All right, man. Thanks a lot for coming out. Thank you, Brooks. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Helps me on the channel, and we'll see you next time. Shout out to the uh, GM again, man. They did a great job of uh, uh, making an amazing car for the price. Um, you know, as you guys know or may not know, I got a C8 Stingray in my in my in, in my fleet, and the Stingray, just a regular Sting Stingray, does very well in terms of performance. I mean, it can go zero to sixty, I believe, in two point nine uh, for just a regular Stingray. So I can only imagine how how much more beefier the, the z06 is so um that's today's video guys um if you guys like the content remember to like the video and please leave any feedback in the comment section more reaction videos going to be coming check out my website uh, for my vehicles innovationpropertyrentals.com below and stay tuned for the next video thanks guys for tapping in have a good day